Oh, okay, yeah, sorry, sorry again. Good afternoon from uh, Qatar National Library. Sorry for me being late, but there is always some technical <laughs> issue at the end. Okay, uh, so first, thank you for letting me and my colleague Asma uh, be here with you today. So we wanted to share some insights from our and our perspectives from Qatar National Library on like some old and uh, past and present projects that we were working with. Wikimedia Foundation and some of the um, some of the programs that we did in the past that were related to Wikipedia. First of all, I want to give you a short insight on uh, what is QNL mission and vision, and in that context, how we um, consider Wikipedia and uh, events related to Wikipedia to be important for us and for our public. Uh, we also want to share later on about planning and organizing Wikipedia editing marathons and at the end I would share some lessons learned uh, from our uh, projects and uh, some ideas for our future projects. Okay, so QNL's vision is to be one of the world's preeminent centers of learning, research and culture. Uh, a guardian to the region's uh, heritage and an institution that promotes imagination, discovery, and the nourishment of the human spirit. Uh, so that is the vision. We also have the mission um, of uh, QNL is to preserve the nation's and the region's heritage and enable the people of Qatar to positively influence society by creating an exceptional environment for discovery and learning. And also very important is that library uh, will achieve its mission by creating and sustaining an intuitive and trusted information environment in a culturally and technologically exceptional setting and by developing innovative programs and services. And that is something that we are working on uh, pretty much every day. Just one picture from our beautiful library here in Qatar. Um, we are organizing plenty of public programs and uh, Wikipedia programs are one of uh, one of them. So I will tell you something about planning and organizing Wikipedia editing marathons or wikithons, how they are popularly called. Uh, we used to call them wikithons here in the libraries, in the library. So the idea basically uh, about this program and uh, the programs that we did in the past was to introduce the concept of Wikipedia to uh, to our patrons, to our public, um, and to engage public to participate in editing and creating articles on Wikipedia, which we found that is something that most of our patrons and users were not familiar with. Um, also, we would like to teach public uh, basic rules and regulations that are out there on Wikipedia. And in that context, in that context, um, we would like to create a new group of Wikipedians. So basically, a group that will participate in future events, and um, to to create a group of experienced Wikipedians that will, in a way, spread the word uh, about Wikipedia and uh, rules about editing Wikipedia for uh, for future and uh, to be able to share them with future um, uh, patrons and uh, future Wikipedians. Okay, we can go to the next slide. Uh, yeah, as an introductory session uh, for our Wikipedia or uh, marathons or Wikitons, we uh, use to provide users with a short sessions on how to edit a Wikipedia. At the, it mainly consisted of a two uh, pro, two parts, and the main part was uh, a writing rules on Wikipedia. And uh, in that part, we were explaining the basic writing rules and regulations to our participants, just as a first point and the basis for them to be able to understand. Um, these rules and to be able to apply them when they start uh, to edit and to write uh, on Wikipedia themselves. 
And um, of course, uh, from the library perspective, uh, we providing we provided them with uh, different resources, um, and also for to explain to them how what are the basic rules and how uh, they should do the Wikipedia in a correct uh, way. We use these three official guides uh, and manuals that were uh, provided by Wikimedia Foundation, and that is the the, ba uh, the basic one, the uh, editing Wikipedia, the one here uh, in the middle that you can see. Then um, illustrating Wikipedia, so that one deals with more of a, a, a multimedia side of it and how to to provide that content content at the last but not least we were talking about like once you edit or once you write down your article uh, what are the basic rules how to evaluate that and on the other hand how you you should evaluate the article that is already out there on the wikipedia and that you are planning to to edit also very important before you start to do that so far, we organized three Wikipedia editons or marathons, uh, two in 2018 and one in 2019. Um, this last year we didn't do um, because we we uh, had most of our programs virtually or online, and uh, we didn't uh, think that virtual uh, editons were were a good way to 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 start. So basically, we are planning to do more events now once we are uh, fully open. So the first uh, Wikithon was organized in April 2018, and we had around 30 participants. Um, uh, our main focus was on uh, editing Arabic pages on Wikipedia that were related uh, to Qatar. Also, uh, themes and topics, uh, they varied from uh, history of Qatar and Middle East to uh, more specific themes and topics like Qatar architecture, uh, Qatar geography, history, wildlife, and cuisine. Um, while the main focus was on editing Arabic pages, English pages for related topics were edited as well. Uh, and this is just uh, for you to to have in mind that like our participant ratio at that time was like 30 percent were uh, Arabic speakers and 70 percent were English speakers so just for the sake of keeping the right uh, balance we wanted to offer let's say both uh, or to offer topics from the both uh, uh, sides so uh, from English perspective and from the uh, to, to uh, to give some topics uh, for English speakers and some topics uh, to Arabic speakers. But uh, as I mentioned before, our main focus was to enrich the Arabic content on Wikipedia. And as a Qatar National Library, that is one of our goals is generally to, to, to provide uh, that to our Arabic speaking um, uh, participants and general in general public. Um, also, we were encouraging participants to use our QNL resources that we already have in the library. So, uh, of course, in different formats: ebooks, uh, news articles, uh, of course, physical books from different um, areas of knowledge. Uh, and what we did basically, we prepared materials and books uh, related to each topic and then users were able to use them but on the other hand we were encouraging them to find some of the information on their own by using our catalogs and our and other sources uh, um, and that is something that we found like um, very interesting for them to learn how to use our resources as well um, here are some observations and issues that we had during these previous past events. So what we discovered when we were analyzing these Arabic pages related to Qatar or Middle East in general uh, is that Arabic pages related to Qatar were in many cases just copied and pasted from the English Wikipedia and then translated to Arabic with the less sources and citations. 
Uh, our goal was to fix this as much as we can and uh, to apply changes and apply edits whenever that was possible. And just to give you some example of how literal translation was, uh, some terms like the names of areas or rulers were wrongly spelled uh, when literally translated to, to Arabic. Um, changing and fixing this was a very time consuming process and uh, that process required a lot of attention to details in order to be properly fixed. Uh, we try to emphasize the importance of proper citations and references and the usage of credible and easily checked sources. And in this context, uh, we conducted introductory sessions that I mentioned before, uh, which explained the primary, secondary, and tertiary sources together with, a way, with the proper ways of doing them. So in that way, we were doing a part of like more of a general information literacy, but also tackling some of the more advanced research techniques and resources. We can go with the next slide, please. Yes, thank you. Uh, some of our future plans is that um, uh, we want to expand the community of Wikipedia editors and to have more Arabic speaking participants who can help with editing Arabic pages on Wikipedia. And in that context, uh, whenever we are organizing these events, we are trying to have uh, Arabic speaking stuff and English speaking stuff both together so we can uh, do both things as uh, in the best way we can. Um, and the other thing is to build a Wikipedia community. Uh, to spread the word about Wikipedia and to organize sessions on a regular basis with uh, measuring the impacts that can help us to reach the next milestones on improving Arabic content on Wikipedia. And this is just one, um, one uh, let's say, statistical uh, thing from uh, our first event that was held in April 2018. Uh, in total, we edited 14 pages uh, related to Qatar and Middle East, and more than 75 references were added. And of course, uh, many, many other pages we started to, to uh, edit. So, and I hope that these numbers will go as we progress towards um, our goal that I mentioned is to, to enrich Arabic Wikipedia in the best way we can. Uh, thank you so much. That was from uh, my end. I will give the mic to, to Asma now. Thank you. Thank you, Pavla. Assalamu uh, alaikum, everyone. My name is Asma al I am the head of digital experience and digital content at Qatar National Library. And um, what I'd be presenting today is just an overview of our participation with the competition Wiki Loves Monuments. I've done it in English, but I'm willing to answer anything in Arabic. <laughs> but uh, just for the flow of the, of the presentation in continuation of Pavle, I will do it in English. So what I'll be covering today is the competition preparation and launch. Some of the difficulties that we have faced when launching such a competition, especially launching it for the first time in Qatar and results and current feedback because the competition is still up and running. It's not ended, so we don't have all the results for it. But I, I believe this is an amazing opportunity to talk about some of the initiatives that we are doing with Wikipedia as Qatar National Library. So for the competition preparation and launch, so our main objective being in charge of digital engagement, what we would wanted to do is first of all, to increase our content in relation to Qatar digitally. And Wikipedia is one of the biggest resources that we have. So we wanted to find a way that we can enhance and engage more content about Qatar, history of Qatar, or even the current, um, the current Qatar. We wanted to also increase awareness about the Commons Creative and the copyright uh, in Qatar, and this is part of also uh, another department that we have in Qatar National Library. And we wanted to engage our patrons with the digital content uh, initially about uh, the state of Qatar. 
So in preparation, um, these are just, I'll, I'll go swiftly through this, the process. So uh, creating the website on Wikimedia, I actually want to acknowledge Mohammed uh, Bushanda's uh, uh, very help, helpful, um, he's been very helpful in creating the pages and helping supporting us and actually launching the competition and he's still in support. So thank you Mohammed for that. Um, one of the difficulties that we had is also to find an official list of monuments here in Qatar to link and post for the competition itself. It's been uh, a difficulty, the reason behind, because there isn't any published list. Um, so what we had to do is to find and get approval of a published list uh, of the monuments here in Qatar and what's considered a monument. We do have uh, one, a couple of monuments that are already represented, for example, in this, uh, like the Zabara uh, from UNESCO, but we wanted a full list that would give an opportunity for people to know what the monuments are here in Qatar and also to be part of this competition. And for that reason, we thought of collaborating with Qatar Museum and also the Qatar Photographic Society to launch the competition. The reason behind uh, collaborating with Qatar Photographic Society is that we would have a platform to start with people who would have really nice pictures to uh, take and to upload within the competition so that we just create this momentum rather than starting from a, a smaller batch of people or um, people who would just be interested in taking pictures. So we wanted to tap into their community that would help support us in uh, creating this competition and it becoming a success. And for that, we created a marketing campaign, which was a joint marketing campaign between the three, Qatar Museum, Qatar Photographic Society, and also Qatar National Library. And the competition then was launched at the beginning of October. So some of the difficulties that we have faced through the competition, first of all, was to find an approved list, as I mentioned before, and that took the longest because it hindered even creating this, the other steps that would help support us start this competition. And it was kind of like a yes or no. If there was no list, we wouldn't have been launching the, uh, the competition. But thankfully, we have found the support at the end from Qatar Museums, and they have been very helpful in this aspect. Uh, but because of that, uh, everything was uh, delayed. Uh, so in, through the internal process and the approval and related to marketing and publishing the event, this was done last minute. But thankfully, we've been able to do that with the support of everyone and also in aligning uh, with all the collaborators in terms of the roles and responsibilities in delivering this competition. So. As I said, the competition is already launched. We do have uh, the, uh, the web pages of both the English and the Arabic for uh, Wiki Love Monuments 2021 in Qatar. And we're very proud and excited that this is the first time we launched this competition. Uh, currently, uh, I believe the last time I checked, we have eight images. We're hoping that uh, with the uh, visiting of the different monuments that we have, uh, the increase of the images or the images, uh, number of images participating will increase. Something that we had uh, agreed together with Qatar Photographic Society and also Qatar Museum is that so we can enhance the, the competition uh, entries of pictures that we have arranged field trips for anyone that would be interested in taking pictures of such monuments that are provided in the lists. And for that, uh, Qatar Photographic Society has launched even a free webinar to teach the basic techniques of taking pictures. And they have created a schedule of three weekends of where anyone that would be interested, either they are a member of the society or any, uh, any person that likes taking pictures can be part of these trips. And they would take them to certain a uh, number of monuments all around Qatar to take pictures and uh, upload them and participate in the competition. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry about that. So <clears throat> for the field trips, they aren't mandatory, but they do give an opportunity for Sorry, I'm a bit under the weather. So they do give an opportunity for people to participate for the monuments, but as I said, they are not mandatory. And anyone that does have images that have they, they have taken before of the monuments can participate as well. So we have done a marketing campaign <clears throat> that has uh, that will be published within our social media platforms and also within our partner social media platforms as well. 
and this is where we are currently. Hopefully we are able to um, assess and see the feedback of the competition once it has ended and the, the, the winners have been chosen. And uh, this is the current situation we are in right now, and we're really looking forward and hopefully, hopefully with all the efforts that have been put, that the competition will become a success in, in creating content uh, and engaging the users with the digital content, um, and which is what our role and responsibility in Qatar National Library is. Thank you very much. إذا نشكر هذه أصحاب هذه المداخلة أسماء الكواري وبافل كوزيت على هذه المداخلة التي جابت بنا تجربة من تجارب العربية على المستوى المجتمع الويكيميدي وعلى مستوى موسوعة ويكيبيديا على وجه أدق إذا في هذا الإطار نحاول أن نفري بعض الاستفهامات والنقاشات التي جاءت على هامش هذه المداخلة يشار إلي من سيدة مارفيت سلمان أنها تحاول أن أو تريد أن تقدم شيء أو تعقيب في هذا المجال شكرا لكم في الواقع أنا ليس لدي أسئلة I just wanted to comment on the presentation and uh, uh, complement the initiative all in all so this is one of the things that we really look for i mean new uh, activities wiki activities in new countries we always looked for participation from the gulf countries and uh, we have uh, just heard about uh, um, a some success here and we really want to extend that and to expand it and later tonight we are going to present a new initiative also in sultanate uh, oman and it's really exciting um uh, there are some good um experiments here that we think are good to be shared with the communities to be mimicked i mean so for example um how they started the competition, the Wiki Loves Monuments and the, the challenges they faced is likely to happen with any uh, new uh, participant. For example, I would want to encourage Oman to, to start uh, participating in this uh, contest next year. So it's a good chance to um, make use of um, the success story that uh, Qatar has just explained to us. Um, also, I wanted to uh, comment on uh, the editing uh, activities that were mentioned at the beginning, uh, the problems they noticed in the current content related to Qatar in uh, Wiki Arab the Arabic Wikipedia, I mean, uh, that uh, most of the content was translated from English, it was not accurate, and this is actually um, uh, normal and expected because those who added that text are not Qatari. So when in, whenever it comes from people who are not from that country, for example, you would expect this. So we um, uh, encourage you to keep editing, not only adding content, but also editing and let's say proofreading the existing content to make it as accurate as possible. Thank you very much. شكرا سيدة مارغريت على هذه التعقيبات والتعليقات التي في الحقيقة أضافت الكثير وهي مشجعة وكذلك تساهم في هذا التواصل العربي والتواصل الفكري العربي في مساهمة ضمن هذا المجتمع الكميدي ومساهمة أيضا في تفعيل وتنويع مداخل المعرفة ضمن هذه الموسوعة موسوعة ويكيبيديا إذا هل في إذا كان في تساؤلات واستفهامات في هذا الصدد إذا نترككم مع فسحة و استراحة ثم نعود بعد ذلك لاستكمال ومتابعة بقي المحاضرات نعود بعد قليل
السلام عليكم آه اذا كان ممكن سؤال للاخت اسماء آه نعم نعم تفضل الاخ ابراهيم شكرا عزيزي آه كما قالت الاستاذه ميرفت يعني نحن فرحنا ايضا جدا بهذه المبادره في دول الخليج العربي فقط سؤال يعني حول عدد الصور التي تم تم تحميلها على الكومنز اذا كانت هناك فكره عامه حول عدد الصور التي تم تحميلها على الكومنز وجودتها وعدد الصور التي تم استعمالها في المقالات على ويكيبيديا وشكرا اخت اسماء و نحن سعداء يعني ولكم منا كم تحيه على هذا المشروع. شكرا ابراهيم لك لك الكلمه اسماء. شكرا يعطيك العافيه ابراهيم. المسابقه احنا اطلقناها لاول مره لحد الان لدينا فقط ثمانيه صور. الفك ولكن احنا متوقعين تنضاف صور اكثر واكثر لان الرحلات المجانيه اللي هي وفرناها من خلال الجمعيه القطريه للتصوير راح تكون كل خميس الى نهايه الشهر فبعدها احنا نتوقع انه يكون مثل ما يقولون يعني الكثير كثير من الصور اللي راح تكون محمله على الويكيميديا لدينا ايضا فكره ان بنهايه السنه باذن الله ان يكون بين تعاون احنا وقسم بافلي ايضا بحيث ان احنا نوصل هالصور للمقالات وال والمحتوى اللي مكتوب على ويكيبيديا على اساس ان نتري المحتوى عن دوله قطر باذن الله نعم كذلك هناك تعقيب ومداخلة للأستاذ محمد مشوندا رئيس مستخدمي ويكيميديا الجزائر تفضل تسمع الصوت؟ لا لا يصير الصوت نعم تفضل أولا وقبل شيء يعني نحيي الفريق في قطر اللي للمواصل للوصول الى نشر هذه الصفحه وموصلات الفريق في مسابقه ويكي تهوى المعالم انا لست يعني متخوفا من عدد الصور ولكن كل فخري بان المسابقه تم اطلاقها في دوله قطر وقمنا بانشاء صفحتين حول قائمه المواقع التاريخيه والتراث في دوله قطر و والمهم هو ليس هذه اللحظه يجب ان نرى الى المدى المتوسط والمدى الطويل لان القائمتين هذه سوف تساعد في اثراء المحتوى رويدا رويدا كل خطوه كل حرف كل كلمه تضاف الى هذه المقالات سوف تضيف المعرفه و نحييكم ونحن دائما في الخدمه ونساعدكم في اثراء المحتوى المفيد في كامل الوطن العربي شكرا اذا كان ممكن نعم تفضل تفضل شكرا اخي محمد انا على التوضيح انا فقط كان سؤالي يعني ان الانطلاقه من التجربه المغربيه يعني مشكل اندثار التراث المادي والصراع مع الزمن لان يعني اليوم غادي تلقى البناء موجوده غدا يمكن تلقاها تدمج يعني وهذا الصراع مع الوقت يخلينا ان يعني هنا في المغرب اننا اذا كان عندنا عدد اكثر او اكبر لصور من كامل الاوجه واخذ تفاصيل الهندسه المعماريه يعني عدد الصور يتيح لك فرصة أكبر للتعرف والتوثيق بأدق التفاصيل للمعمار والتراث المادي. هنا جاء سؤالي يعني هل انطلاقا من التجربة المغربية يعني كل يوم من ممكن عبر التاريخ والطبيعة يعني يجب أن نأخذ بعين الاعتبار المسألة وإذا كان هناك عدد أكبر من الصور التي توثق التفاصيل المعمارية والهندسية سيكون من الجميل حفظها هذا كان 
الهدف من تدخلي وشكرا لكم ونحن كما قلت فرحون بهذه بافتتاح هذا المشروع في دول الخليج ومنا اليكم كم التحيات و نحن منفتحون على كل المساعدات والشراكات اذا كان ممكن. شكرا اخ ابراهيم اذا سنعود اليك بعد قليل لتقديم مداخلتك بعد خمس دقائق من الان نترككم مع فسحه ونعود لنواصل النقاش. <تصفيق>